So yeah, Don, we're, so we're talking about um, something that you're heavily vested in, which is, you know, marketing, cold email marketing. You've done it before, right? I'll bring your uh, picture up here in a second. But Don's one of these guys that we taught how to do the cold email marketing, went out, did it, and got tremendous results. So I'd love to hear from you on exactly your experience, what you've been doing, and how it's been working. Well, actually, I'd like to share a story this morning. I found myself this week, um, and you were, earlier you were, you were preaching to the choir, and I found myself yesterday not having any appointments booked for the week. So I thought last night, uh, I haven't been probably in the last week doing any cold email marketing. I've been mostly doing testing on it and getting good results. So I decided last night that I would put together a campaign and uh, so I woke up this morning, uh, ran the uh, BizBoom software, and built a database of 208 uh, uh, contacts. I emailed them out this morning, and something that I did today that or this campaign I thought was I've been kind of tweaking it all along, but. I read somewhere normally I would put uh, a you know a unsubscribe link to be cam spam compliant. Mm -hmm. So this go around I actually put down at the uh, at the PS level down at the bottom uh, just to let me know kindly if they are not interested. So I blasted the campaign off this morning and I got five quick responses. And uh, what I was looking for was two meetings, since I hadn't had any meetings all week. I had two people respond right away within 30 minutes, said, hey, are you available tomorrow at such and such time? So I got two booked appointments tomorrow. But really what was interesting was uh, the responses I got from people not interested. And I had one that uh, said, uh, I can't kindly, uh, no thank you kindly was one response. And then there was another guy, there was actually another guy that responded and he uh, gave me a reason why he was declining. He said, I started my company four years ago and have grown the business only by selling 25% of my clients. I don't need any more right now, but I'll keep you in mind, but thank you. And so, you know, I think I picked that idea up from the, the website I was looking at on reply.io and uh -huh. Rather than use an unsubscribe, you can just put a PS down there and still be in compliant. So I thought that was kind of exciting, even though that I didn't have an unsubscribe, at least it was more personal and people were getting back to me that weren't interested. So the end result today in scrambling around this morning and getting this kicked off, which I plan on putting this in more on a consistent basis like you were just talking about, because it certainly gives you another avenue for prospecting. Because, you know, on LinkedIn, um, it does take some time when you send out messages and they reply back. You send out an M2 message. This was an instant result. I've never seen anything quite like this work before. So I'm excited about using this tool uh, on a consistent, more frequent basis because it gives me a lot of confidence and I can go out and I can make a blast and get two appointments a day, which is what my target is.